it's true, guys. AI is taking over. It's offering some pretty incredible productivity tools that can save us days of time when it comes to designing and building our own websites. So today, we're going to cover five of the best AI website builders on the market right now. They can literally save you months of effort. Let's jump straight into it. First up, we have Hostinger, a platform that makes it super easy to design, build, and manage a WordPress website. Now, we're going to cover some of the basics that you need when it comes to building a website using one of these platforms, and we'll use Hostinger as an example of how to do that. Whether you're building a portfolio, a blog, or just a website for your personal brand, you're going to need two things. First, you're going to need a hosting plan, which lets you store and manage your website's data, make it publicly accessible on the internet. And second, you're going to need a domain name. This is your website's address and lets people find your website on the internet. So if we click on the first link in the description below for Hostinger, we're going to see a page that offers a couple of different hosting plans. Part of what makes Hostinger such a great platform is its AI website builder for WordPress. And that is available on the business, the startup, or the professional plan. So I'd pick one of those to get started. If we pick the business plan, for example, the next step is going to be telling the platform how long we want to host our website for. Your plan is going to renew after this period. And if you want to save some money, I'd recommend that you choose a longer duration. You can also use code Leander to get a special 10% off. Once you have your plan, Hostinger will guide you through a nice little onboarding process. So let's say we want to build a design portfolio here. We're going to choose WordPress sites. Now we've got the option to create our website with AI, which we're definitely going to do. Next, we'll have to pick a domain name for our site. Come up with something meaningful and memorable here, and ideally something that won't look weird when people type it into their search bar. With our business plan, we actually get the domain name for free for the first year. And then we're going to have to pick a server location. And ideally, you want to pick a server location that matches where most of your users are going to be based. That's going to give them the best loading speeds when they're accessing your web page. After that, you just have to let WordPress load up. And then we can prompt the AI by providing a description of our website. Now, there are a lot of different ways that you can prompt AI. So I recommend that you guys play around with this a bunch, see what gives you the best results. But for today, I'm going to use something quite simple. And we're going to use the same exact prompt for all the different AI website builders that we're going to cover, just so you see how the results that they spit out are a little bit different. That's it. Once I prompted the AI, all I have to do is hit enter. And within minutes, we've got a complete website based on our description, including relevant text and images. Now, this is obviously just a first draft, but it's a really good way to get something down on paper so you don't get stuck in your own head conceptualizing how you want your website to look. This at least gives us something to work with. And from here, you can use Hostinger to do a ton more customization so you can make sure that your website looks exactly how you want it to. Also, if you're not happy with what the AI produced, you can always change your prompt slightly or you can just run the AI again to see what else it comes up with. Once you're happy with the draft, click Confirm and Edit to start customizing your site. From here, we can change any of these elements however we want, including changing the text, realigning it, updating any styles, images, so on and so forth. You can add a ton of different elements to your site by clicking the plus button here, whether it's a quote block, video, any kind of formatted text, or we can use the AI again to add in a section. This is particularly useful if you're working on something like a case study, for example. There's a lot more that you can do with Hostinger, so I recommend that you guys click the link in the description below, get started with a plan, and have a play around with both the AI and the WordPress site editor. You can also go check out Hostinger's YouTube channel, Hostinger Academy. They offer a ton of tips and tutorials on how to play around with Hostinger. Up next, we're going to cover Wix. And if you click the link below in the description under Wix, you'll get to this page where you can just click on Create with AI. You don't have to create an account for this one or anything like that. Now, you'll notice the Wix AI builder is a little bit different from Hostinger's. It's more of a chatbot that's going to ask you a couple of different questions before building your site for you. Let's take a closer look here. So the first question is, what is the website about? We're going to answer that, and I'm just going to say that I want it to be a UX design portfolio. That's going to ask what the name of our project is. I'm just going to put Leander's portfolio who's your target audience. I'm going to say other designers and design hiring managers. Any special features? Now, here you can say that you want something like a blog. You can say that you want to include an about section. Whatever you want to put in here, put that in. And then when you're done, we're just going to click generate site. And this is going to create a, a draft website for you. And if we're happy with the draft, you can click continue. If not, again, we can choose to either give the AI another go, or we can just choose to tweak this design. Let's hit tweak for now, and you'll see that this is going to change things like styling. If we want to make bigger changes to the design, we can enter the Wix site editor here, click on continue to the editor. And in the Wix editor, we can edit all of these elements really easily, it's text, styling, color, whatever you want. Another cool AI feature Wix offers is an AI image generator. Let's say, for example, I don't like this header image. If I double click on the image, I can create an AI image by clicking on this text. And now depending on what I want, I can just prompt the AI to generate a new image for me. 
For the portfolio section, Wix will let me use AI again to automatically generate project pages for my work. All I have to do is add images, give my projects some titles and brief descriptions like this. And then that is going to create and let me manage those individual project pages for me. Now, Wix is obviously a very powerful website editor. So I recommend it. You guys jump in, have a play around, follow the link below and prompt the AI a couple of times, see what it comes up with, and then jump into the editor itself and see how else you can tweak your website. Again, the draft doesn't need to be perfect that the AI generates. It's just a really good way to get started with something. And often that's the hardest part. Up next, we're looking at Framer. And if you're an avid Figma user, this might be a really good tool for you because Framer's layout is going to feel super familiar to Figma's. But we're primarily here to talk about Framer's AI web building capabilities. So hit the Framer link in the description below, and it's gonna bring you to this page. From here, we can just go to New Projects, which is gonna bring us straight into the Framer Editor. Now the AI website builder annoyingly is a little bit hidden in Framer, but we're gonna access it by hitting Command or Control K, and then search for Generate. Now click on Generate Web Page, and that's going to bring up the prompt input for the AI. Let's try the same prompt that we've been using, and then Framer's gonna spit out some designs for us. And now you're gonna notice that we have three different designs here, which is a little bit different from Wix and Hostinger. Each one of these designs is going to be for a specific breakpoint screen size. So we've got one for desktop, one for tablet size, and then one for mobile. You can publish this site on a free domain, but let's take a look at some editing options first. Like the other builders that we've looked at, we can either just tell the AI to take another stab at the prompt that we provided, or you can update the prompts to try something totally different. That makes it pretty easy to explore some different visual directions here. Another cool way Framer lets you use AI is if you click on an individual section like this, then you can click on the little AI button to the right, and that's just gonna regenerate the styling for that specific section. If you need to add other sections or you wanna completely change the layout of one of these sections, you can go over to the left side, you can hit add section, and then Framer actually gives you a lot of really nice section templates. For example, if you want a different way to display your projects, I can grab a section like these three cards. This looks quite cool. Lots more to explore within Framer, so be sure to follow the link below and have a play around with the AI generator and also the editor. You can also check out their YouTube channel, Framer University, for a lot of really cool tips and tutorials. Next up, we've got Durable. Now this one you might not have heard of and it's a little bit more niche, but if you're looking to build primarily a business website, this is a really cool platform that I recommend you check out. Again, if you follow the link below for Durable, it's gonna bring us straight into the AI website builder. You don't have to create an account for this one either off the cuff. Right off the bat, it's gonna ask us what kind of business that we wanna build. So you can already tell that this is more oriented towards business owners. If you're just building a website for personal use or you're building something like a portfolio, it's okay. You don't need to worry too much about what kind of business you're building. You can just tell the AI what you're interested in. And like before, let's just use the same prompt that we used for a design portfolio. Then you're gonna put in your location and give your website a name. And after Durable has done its thing, you're gonna be asked to now create an account. You can just use your Google account here for simplicity. That's probably the fastest way. And now if we scroll through the generated site, you'll notice that what the AI produced really is more oriented towards people who wanna create a business website. We've got sections here that promote services. Don't really care about that for a portfolio, but I might really like that if I'm more interested in promoting a business or a service that I'm offering. And similar to Framer, Durable's AI can be used to restyle individual sections, either by restyling the colors, we can change the imagery that's been used, or we can alter the layout completely if we want to. It's also really easy easy to add new sections and restyle them with AI. So if I drag in a contact form, for example, I can hit restyle until I find a contact form style that I like. You can, of course, also dive into the details and edit specific parts of each section, but I'm gonna let you guys explore all of that on your own. Last but certainly not least, we're looking at Squarespace. Unless you've been living under a rock, you've probably heard of Squarespace. It's probably the original drag and drop no code website building tool. And again, if you follow the link for Squarespace below, it'll drop us right into the AI website build. First, we're gonna tell the AI what the website's about. We're gonna say design, and then we'll say we want our website to showcase work and expertise. It's a portfolio site after all. And then lastly, we can just hit build with AI. And now after this step, it's gonna ask us to create an account. Give the site a quick name, and then Squarespace asks about brand personality. So it actually goes a little bit deeper than a lot of the other AI website builders. You can get a little text preview of the tone of each brand personality by clicking into it. And again, you can kind of tell this is probably more geared towards people that want to build a business website. At the end of the day, you can always edit your own text. So I would just pick one here that sounds good to you and let's move on. And now Squarespace, again, being a little bit more hands-on than the other AI website builders, is going to ask you what kind of sections that you want to add to your homepage. A bit more work, but potentially also a little bit more accurate. Let's add an intro section, a product section that's going to be for our projects and an about section. 
You can change the layout of each of these sections during this step until you're happy with it. And then you can add any other pages you want. I'll add a shop page in case I wanna use that to display my portfolio projects. And then we can add a color palette that we like. And lastly, you're gonna choose your fonts. Again, you can change all of this later. This is just an initial step to get something down on paper. It definitely takes a little bit longer than other AI website builders, but I do like how specific I can be with Squarespace. It's not really AI generated. It's more choosing pre-made templates and specifying the styles that then get automatically formatted and put together for me. From here, we can edit whatever we need to and until we're happy with our site. For example, I don't really want a shop page, but I do want a page that displays all my project work. So we can go into settings here and we can change the name of the shop page to projects. There we go. And we can also jump back into the styling section here to update any of the stylings until we're happy with them. And again, we're just scratching the surface here. The best way that you're gonna learn all of these platforms is by clicking the links in the description below, jumping into these website builders and having a play around. It's free to get started with any of them. So I recommend you guys just jump in, see what feels most comfortable and see what you like the best. Squarespace also has a YouTube channel called Squarespace Help where they offer a lot of different techniques and tips to get started. It's gonna make it easier for you to then play around with the tool yourself. At the end of the day, which of these site builders that you end up using to build your website comes down to preference and which one feels the most comfortable to you. But my suggestion would be to get a prompt and use the same prompt for all of these website builders like I just did in this video see which AI comes up with the best idea to get started with. And then it also comes down to which editor feels the most intuitive and the most comfortable for you to use. And keep in mind that AI can still make some mistakes and it's not gonna be perfect, but it is an incredible way for you to get started with something. And we really try to obsess over making everything perfect before we've even built anything. So being able to use these AI prompters to generate something that we can then use to move forward with is a really, really valuable way to get started and not get stuck in your own head. Let me know if you have any questions on any of this and share your experience with any of these platforms in the comments below. I look forward to reading. As always, best of luck and see you guys very soon.